Next scenario is gonna be a basic guy comes up to you, grab hold of the arm. Not, not very aggressive, but still trying to get the intimidation factor. As the person does it, he's going just grabbing the inside of, of, of my arm. You think about what areas are available to you. He has a, a good, just regular hand grip where he's pushing the thumb onto the, the bicep there. You can use that against him. As he goes to grab you, grab the inside of his arm and you'll be pushing, pulling back on that thumb because he's trying to grip you. You're pulling back on that thumb. Once he pulls back on that thumb, you can bring him down. Okay? Yeah. It's like a broken thumb, how about that? Good. All right, let's try it from this side. Now again, he's going for the inner, the in, inside of my arm. Because of his placement of his thumb, you can use that against him. You grab the back side of his forearm. His thumb is kind of locked in that, that particular place. What, what I'm gonna do from this point is just kind of crunch him in and drop my body weight down. And when I drop my body weight down, that's gonna put pressure on his thumb, causing him to kind of wince over. Once he winces over, I'm just gonna throw him to the ground with a small body torque. So as he grabs, almost instantly, we're using the, the simple ideas of how he grabbed me, uh, his momentum towards his grab, and then once, once he, he grabs me, I'm gonna use that to lock him in, use just a, a natural uh, a natural tug to bring him closer and then use gravity to pull him down. In that area, you can't really see too well, but his thumb is really, really gonna take a beating at that point, especially when his body moves forward and past, and past my shoulder. 